Carmilla the Vampire Queen is dead. And though her by still uh not I didn't get the search of answers uh, the Hunter returns to the colleague. It seems the nightmare has only just begun. of the uh, throwing daggers. Random village people, as far as I'm aware. They never really talk or anything. And the office is up here. I, all the congratulate you on your work. The world's a safer place because of you. Yeah, her death has caused a ripple through the vampire nobility. Dracula still sleeps, but something is brewing. Demons have returned to Morvania. The town's graveyard is uh, writhing with undead. It's a simple mission. Graveyard is behind the uh, college. I'm counting on you to take care. I'm counting on you to take care, rather. Apparently you can just enter through the town well to here. Why we aren't worried about these guys, I don't know, but okay. Alright, the train is down there. So our exit is this door. And now we have quite literally an open world to explore. No. Obviously, these NPCs are not really even NPCs, they're just really cardboard cutoffs standing around inside of a village. Guards don't even guard this place. That's a lighthouse.
Ah, there we go. So we're trying to get to. I don't know why they basically covered up the entryway to get here so much, but okay. Well, that holy water stuff she's throwing now is useful in this game. It's only useful up to a certain distance, where in the original game you really did need the daggers to kind of snipe at times to get enemies long distance. I think we opened the doorway over there. So the holy water is useful but ineffectual at times when you need uh, to be a little more longer distance attack. see it but not get to it. I saw that out of the corner of my eye.
draw a wheel to select different characters. And his right click does a multi attack and this is. Okay. Bigger multi attack for his R. But yeah, this is gonna be our go to for a bit. Because just being a ranged shooter in this game is such an improvement over just Rain's melee, although she still comes in handy when we are particularly trying to platform. Missed. Basically, we're on free reign now, so go wherever, try and find a dungeon that we can get through. I'm not mistaken, I don't know if we can actually do the lighthouse yet, but I think we can do the spot next to it. Let us double check. First things first. Thank you. 
Okay, he doesn't flash all the time, but he is taking damage. It's weird that he's sitting there like that. Okay, now he's moving. Bosses are definitely a little more active in this game, but they're still not 100% dull there. If I'm gonna be honest. They are a bit more interesting than they were in the last game. A little more dynamic to them. That was it. I think we only just got a key out of it or something. So we can get healed too. There we go. Yeah, I think we got some sort of key or something out of him. other door here. There we go, now we got the key.
Yeah, the open world gets a little chaotic sometimes. Thank you. Yep, uh, I think I was right that Lighthouse was 1.0 and this is 2.0, essentially. Thank you. 
bugged somehow. Thanks for the rescue, friends. I can la leave this damned observatory. Name's, uh... Clerklet? So regular attack is a... Gun blast. He has a right click that's a bomb. And what is his R? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that can come in handy once in a while. Thank <laughs> you. 
basically got a Doom Shotgun Blast for an attack. With a minigun alt. That lasts for a couple seconds. Jumping. Now, how do we get off this island? Is the more difficult question. Ooh, can I? Yes, finally. I tried to do that like multiple times last time I played this game, and I could not make it to land safely at all. I had to keep going a long way over this way and usually by halfway through I would still have to hop off the water as quickly as possible before I took too much damage and died. So that should take care of all of the uh, shoreline stuff on this side at least. There's a big gap over there that we have to get across to if we want to see any of the other stuff. That brain? Basically. Geronimo! Like I said, shortcut it through the well. Actually, we don't even need to heal. So we can kind of hop back outside and should auto save a lot of the stuff we just done. Keeps liking to jump in the wrong direction. Ooh. I'm trying to remember, I think there's a way we can get up there and toss the bomb in an easier direction. If we can get up here. I'm trying to remember how we can get up there.
thought there was an area where she could get a higher up already for this point. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Finally found it. Alright, let's get around. Round, round, get around. I get around. Although we can't get inside yet, I mean, we can walk in through the front door, but we need a particular key in order to open the second door once we're inside. All right. also provide uh, different strategies for certain enemies. There are some times where the shotgun might be, the, the rifle blast might be better 
But there are definitely times where, uh, like, if you're trying to aim up, that this attack is much better and will less be less likely to clip things by accident and have a better accuracy. That's opened up. And we're entering Tron. Destroy that boy. Ah. Trapped here in eternity. Freedom. Nosferatu the monster. 
I shall be thine wrath. I pledge myself to thine cause. You have a strong set of warriors, just like Alcard wanted. Now we just have to find our way into Nostrata's castle. Right click. As LR is a doesn't use heart stance, a giant high uh, jump. As a matter of fact, yeah, you can double team it with your regular jump to get it to places like this. Nothing he does requires hearts, so it makes him even more of a bit of a potent boy. He has all raw talent and no overuse of skill mechanics. Just raw, unbridled rage and platforming capability, and a bit of. Uh, decent fast melee. If you want a hard hitting melee though, you still want rain. But usually, at least with dealing with minions, you want fast anyways, as opposed to rain who has to keep backpedaling every time she gets into a fight. But if you want a melee boss, it's rain. If I, if I ever saw one. I 
like the poisonous key. Yeah, the rest of these dungeons are just a series of dungeons trying to get us the uh, keys we need to uh, get the final key we need to get into Nosferatu's castle. Time-wise, we're not doing too bad right now, from what I recall. Because I have a little bit of experience of traveling around and which ways the game wants you to go. I kind of have a little bit of a better idea where we need to go to get things done. Here we go. One is it that we can get into now? Is it this one? Yep. And I think this one unlocks the fish, but then unlocks the uh, that side door inside that cave, and that's where the final key is, I think. So we got like technically this and one more dungeon to go through. And a very short third dungeon before we're on the last one. these rooms and uh hit the levers in order to unlock the big final room in this castle. Or the next area of the castle.
We're about to die. We might have to run. That's uh, also the medallion pieces we're trying to find. Because those also help with uh, getting to that final gate, as I recall. chasing after me like that. Nope, as far as I can tell there's something else down there. sells their attacks because it's so fast.
think of where the other dungeons would be, and I'm thinking, yeah, the fish has got to be the last one, and then they've got the little cave thing to do. Where the other half of the medallion will be. I wanted to say there's something else we need to get for the fish yet, but I'm not thinking of it right now. I don't know save the game right now because we're on top of the world. <laughs> Terrible, they're literally uh, walking explosive. So forgive me if I'm saving a lot in this level, but yeah, it's gonna be one of them levels. like we are going to have three hands tomorrow. Which is good, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, it means that we're going to be a little more on the ball, because uh, if Chris is going to help out at work, that means we can have somebody... Well, actually, I think it might just be me and Sue, but uh, Tim will also be there, and I think the manager will also be there tomorrow. I don't know. I have to, I have to double check who is all going to be there, but it sounds like we've got some extra bodies there tomorrow to help the truck truck at work is such a burden. I don't I don't even mind the whole uh, facing shells, etc. But man oh man, that truck handling the shipment trucks is such a beast. And in case you're wondering why I'm hiding up here, those things spawn. Um, I was told that if they find out they are uh, the hours for truck change by 9.15 tonight, I will get another text. Update me that. Alright. So, here's the reason why we have to wait till this uh, for this dungeon until we have the full group, by the way. The Armadillo guy, uh, his right-click forward lunge uh, is a little more effective at getting across this kind of stuff because that watery stuff is uh, dangerous for us. His forward lunge is a little bit better than uh, Rain's uh, right kick. Her kick is really good for long distances, but that guy's lunge is, uh, I think maybe it might be about the same, or a little shorter, but it reacts faster to keep us from taking damage, or at least as much damage. So with no other critters coming, I'm gonna see if we're gonna save game here really quick, and we're gonna watch that. Thank you. 
Yeah, we have to keep moving because those little things are everywhere in this room. And I'm not taking any risks until we're on high ground. This is our see a boss room coming up. He was trying to spawn the little explosive guys too. Luckily, I was aiming just low enough to hit them. Ice key. Okay, yeah. Faster attack. Oh, jeez, they almost didn't make that. That definitely didn't make that. Loss of a few hearts. Or completely getting skunk dung. Thank you. 
shooting too fast for me to be right in front of them. There we go. Oh, lordy. because he's an insufferable piece of work. All right. Final dungeon. messages and I didn't even go back to my stream. Just a second here. I want to make sure all of these are out of the way. Holy cow. Two pieces, and away we go. My most anticipated guests have arrived. The outfits are not gone unnoticed. You've turned one of your own against our own against us. Come, let us drop the formalities. And so this with blood. Uh-oh. Going right to the final boss mode, okay. Oh, that's right, actually.
Yeah, there's... I don't see how rain could handle this. There's just way too much coming in way too fast. There we go. I think that's the end. And over 40 minutes like I had expected, but not quite the two hours it took me last time to play. And so Nosferatu was slain. And with it, the monsters slowly fell by daylight. Morvenials are the Morvenials are safe. Our heroes return to rest. Thank you for playing. So the indie developer that made these two games also made a couple other games, which I am going to check out eventually. Um, they uh. Uh, Lycanthorn 2 here is on Steam as well as the other follow-up games they have made since. As a matter of fact, actually, this got patched. I'm not sure what they changed. It wasn't anything I noticed, but maybe it was like a bug fix or something. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a good evening wherever you are. Stay safe, and I will see you all next week for something else. I haven't decided yet. I might pick something on my own, or I might put it up to vote again right away. I haven't actually made a Patreon vote yet. So anyways, thanks again. Have a good night. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you all then. See you all later.